and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden, kind of what my approach is right now. So we got a pretty big day ahead of us. We do got some things that are coming out by the time seeing this video. They should have come out for you guys already. So you'll know a little bit more in that aspect than I currently do at this current mindset. But you guys get the point. The point being is that a lot of things to spend your coins on. Not a lot of coins probably, right? I feel like we're like we're like the Madden middle class right now. Literally. Like, I, like there's so many things to do right now. But where do we justify doing it at? So there's people going out there and they're spending all their coins on Kindling. They're getting all the presents. There's people spending their coins on all the zero chill players right away. Powered up Bruce Smith and Christian McCaffrey. There's people saving it for a potential blitz. There's people saving it for a potential banger ghost play. There's people saving it on packs. What do I personally recommend doing? So first on, we go over to the market. We take a look at the standpoint right now. What is it looking like? So what do we what should we be preparing for? So I'm gonna head over to the 94.95. Sorry to all you lower end guys when it comes to your team, but this is where I'm looking at the biggest snipes right now, the the, the biggest drop offs, the biggest market changes. So Christian McCaffrey 276, pretty cheap. That's extremely cheap. Now here's the thing, guys. This reeks of how I made coins last year. Reeks of it. But we have to wait. The only way this turns out the right way is with the right things click so obviously 94 overall 274 is a, is a steal already because 94s training wise go for above 317 as you can see by jim brown so the training price of mccaffrey already goes up more so he's one of the safest buys in madden right now because unless these guys crash really bad 94s go for this much so he has to stay within this range because that is what his training value will be over after the promo so he's kind of a steal right now so here's the thing if there happens to be a blitz i don't want to say pick these up now I know you guys will all just buy them and that's it then they're gone but if you picked up a few of these and there happens to be a blitz he's probably and they need um kindling it'll probably skyrocket to like 400k that's kind of what happened last time with the Sam Darnold that was kind of what happened last time when I made all those coins last uh, Christmas but these are definitely cheaper so one thing I can tell you about these these zero chill players that they are very safe buys 95 overalls don't go for 433k their training value should be closer to about 500k so as you guys know when the promo does end they will be going up in price because they will convert to a training quick sell rather than a kindling quick sell so my best advice for you guys is that if you guys want to buy bruce smith right now or you know like you know that old that very old all-time madden fear you want to buy mccaffrey and play with him but you're scared that he's going to depreciate in value and by the time you sell him you're losing coins well i'll have you know these cards they can only go up i'm pretty sure of that because bruce smith if you can get bruce smith right now for below 430 that's just it's just it's a steal i have no other words for it like go to bills 433 you can play with him rock with him and at the end of the promo he either has to be the same price because the market crashed or he had to have one up there's really no way he goes down it's not possible he's going to be going for training which will make him the best training value in the game people will buy him and then that's pretty much what will happen when it, when it converts to training he'll be the best value in the game just like peyton manning and ray lewis were everyone's going to buy them and then the price skyrockets up for a little bit then eventually they'll come back down but for the time being, they will be bought out and they'll go up a lot once their training values. Because right, right now, people can't buy these for trading because they sell for kindling. And this is the kindling value at this exact moment in time. So that's just my personal advice, guys. If you want to use any zero chill players, they are super, super cheap in comparison to the rest of their class of overall. So do not feel scared to buy them because it's always the Madden fear. Buying cards, it's like taking a car off the lot and they just lose $10,000 off the lot in value. That has always been the fear of Madden. You buy the card. And then after reduction and depreciation, you end up losing like 30 to 40k off the lot. It, that sucks. I understand that. But that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'll probably pick it up. Once the ghosts come out today, I'll probably pick it up some of the ghost players that I know. But we'll let them get to their value. They're gonna, this is exactly how the ghosts are going to come. They're going to go. They're going to come out. They're going to be up here. They're going to fall here. And they're going to come right back up to like here. So you're going to know the low. You're going to know the highs. But just like McCaffrey, if you wait a few days, you could probably get him for cheap. Now, right now, we do not have a confirmed blitz or anything. So people are not valuing kind kindling. That's the other thing. Last year, presents were so cool and different the way they were with the random reroll present that people really valued the currency. Right now, no one values kindling. So it's like a dead currency at this moment. You could easily get quite a few things for cheap. So I'm letting you guys know when the ghosts come out, when the ghosts come out at this moment, guys, once they get really, really cheap, I recommend you buy them because if you wait long and then something comes out with kindling and they get their value up, they're going to have a reason to have value. Right now, they have no reason to have value. In Madden, the reason most cards stay as expensive as they are is because they have a training value. 
right now can they don't have a trading value and kindling is a dead currency because there's nothing to use it on that's exciting right now so that's going to keep the price of things down so i'm sending you guys off there's a ghost one they dropped my home some crazy say that you guys really want go pick it up when it's cheap you guys will know you'll, you'll see it'll come out expensive it'll drop down low it'll come back up a little bit and then like a day or two it'll drop down again or maybe it'll stay down because everyone knows that kindling isn't as important and maybe these cars were only expensive because people thought they could use the kindling for a while and then after a while people were like eh, i'll just sell them but the first zero chill cards weren't even that great so i really hope that the ghost cards really make up for that now as far as presents I, i'm going over a video are presents worth it but my personal opinion i don't think spending all your coins on presents right now is the smartest idea you guys have seven days until christmas until they open i believe you could open these up until the night before on the, until like christmas eve i don't know where i saw it but i feel like i saw it somewhere the word for today's video is present comment down below the word present like the video subscribe to the channel and comment your content once you do all those things you're entered to win good luck like christmas eve at seven or something like that i saw that somewhere maybe it was the christmas puzzle i saw but the point is do i recommend spending all your coins on gifts no i do not i think i think you'll be much better off saving your coins like i said buying kindling for cheap reselling it during a blitz or during a moment when people really need to do it i think that's definitely a safer bet in terms i saw it on the holiday puzzle 24th at 7 p.m but i think that's a safer bet in terms of what you can get back for your coins and what value you can get because at the end of the day if you could flip kindling for an extra 150k per card 100k per card you could easily make a half a mil to a whole mil easy in comparison to the presents where you got to hit big and you got to get lucky and hope that ea is actually not screwing us with these presents so i don't know i definitely if i were you guys i'd wait in terms of presents until there's more clues i'd want more clues i'd want more things to know i'd want more confirmed stuff from like the twitter page or from the streams before i really go all in on presents maybe if they hinted us that something's really cool in there maybe i'll go on a, i'll go on a whole opening for you guys but until that's confirmed i'm not entirely sure now as far as the packs would you, should you be spending money on packs guys no you should never spend money on packs the house always wins you guys might send me a, a big pull but then you guys probably lose more coins and extra packs after that that's kind of just like the reality of how this always if it worked i personally don't recommend it the odds aren't bad though not gonna lie 85 plus 33 percent is a really good pack odd that's not bad again i don't open packs so i don't really know if that's been a good odd for a while if that's been the odds the only i couldn't exactly tell you that but it's definitely a pretty good pack odd now like i said presents all put all up to you guys packs again don't recommend them now what i am what i'm personally waiting for for me myself i'm waiting for a few things i'm waiting for maybe pat mahomes i don't know why like i have lamar but if pat mahomes come out i had i kind of have a, i have a soft spot for him i might go for that i don't know but i'm also waiting for, i'm waiting for fire ghost present hints and then i'm going to be waiting for a potential blitz that's kind of what excites me right now i'm hope i'm kind of hoping for a blitz that's kind of the big thing for me a blitz would be super super cool great content to make and as well as what we saw in the reveal yesterday they do now sound like they're doing some like 12 days of christmas starting on christmas day so that's kind of cool that they're doing that so we have a lot of things coming that we don't entirely know that's what i'm saying like i wouldn't go all in yet because as you guys know i think cc tweeted this out which is actually a really funny like analogy he was like the christmas promo right now is like it's like the bread they give you at the restaurant first like the, the meal is not here yet which is very true madden is infamous for starting off promo stale especially the christmas promo starting off a little stale and then out of nowhere just right in your face getting punched like that's it like it's over it, it, it comes at you like last year they started with a 90 overall they started off with a, they dropped zero chill right we got 80 overalls out of position players and our master was a 90 and our, our teams are all like 93s we're like how do we use this and we're like wow this promo is gonna suck a week later random present rerolls ltd randy moss like 30 ghosts released solos this big present it just got crazy after a while so we still have they did pretty much announce that a bulk of their content is going to be after the 20 starting at the 25th because the promo started late last year started around the 6th and the content didn't kick up to like the 17th 10 days so today it started on like the 16th it's gonna kick up around the 25th it just makes sense if they follow a similar pattern to how they do it so i wouldn't go all in like don't don't blow don't you know like don't put all your eggs in one basket don't be that guy that gets right now a million coins you have every million coins you get every single gift every single every mccaffrey and bruce smith you're done no coins and then when they drop randy moss they drop the nfl 100 they drop the 12 days of christmas they drop all this stuff you're gonna be out of luck for everything that's why what i'm saying do this now like don't spend all your coins up front wait save as much save it as much as you can because they ended it what's worst case scenario you have to get mccaffrey like in a week and a half you gotta wait a week for bruce smith you gotta buy the presents the 24th wait till you know more news wait till things are confirmed and then come the 23rd or 24th if you really feel like wow i just need these gifts they're not giving me any clues just take them then go for it but at least give yourself time because the worst case and the worst thing you can do is spend all your money on all these gifts and then ea announces this is the worst this is bad news ea announced on 24th by the way guys that was just the first set of gifts the next set of gifts starts the 25th we're releasing extra large and rare gifts so now you're like wow i spent all my coins on possibly packs harvest players most feared players and now the real gifts are coming out 
you don't want you don't want to be you want to hear that kind of news that's gonna suck so i'm just letting you guys know patience is key when it comes to madden ultimate team that is why you have not seen me spend a single coin on the zero chill promo i bought one thing and it was a tony gonzalez that is it and it's not even zero chill i never touched the first stuff as well as gingerbread man i'd probably i'd recommend you probably save some of those too because they gave us way more gingerbread men than we could use so i imagine there's gonna be another use for them unless they were just giving us extra just in case we wanted to play some house rules or solo challenges not entirely sure on that aspect but as you guys also know just to give you guys a little heads up if you guys think i'm crazy right now going over to zero chill to get our max things we need 434 stars so sorry guys there's a lot of stuff coming out this is not even close to what we should be expecting from this there's only 50 stars here there's like what's that like times eight eight plus more sets of these so just letting you guys know stay tuned for all that hope this helps you guys out with your coins hope you guys have you know happy spending good luck saving hopefully you guys stay strong but that is about it for the video guys make sure to enter the 25 days of poop miss all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel like the video and then all you gotta do is enter the secret word and your content down below in the comments you enter to win good luck guys enjoy the rest of your day i'm out see you guys in the next video peace